this video is around moles calculation, which is a very, very important part of chemistry where we deal with the calculations. Okay. Uh, now, first of all, let's decode what this mole is, right? So the mole is, is basically a unit, right? Like, for example, if you say, if you hear the word dozen, so right away, a particular figure comes to your mind, that's 12. If I say one dozen of egg, that means I have, I'm talking about 12 eggs. Or if I talk about uh, similarly, one kg, when you think of, when you talk about one kg, that is associated for you, you get in, it's equal to 1000 grams. Similarly, mole is a unit. Just see how one mole Kete moles M O L E S moles ya aap uska short form M O L kar li to ek certain figure aapke zehen mein aati jis tarah se dozen ke saath aapki figure jis zehen mein aati that's twelve kg ke saath aapki zehen mein thousand ki figure aati thousand grams similarly when you talk about one mole of a substance ठीक है जब आप वन मोल ऑफ अ सब्सटेंस की बात करते हैं देन दैट इज इक्वल्स टू और दैट कंप्राइजेस ऑफ 6.023 इनटू 10 रे टू पावर 23 पार्टिकल्स नाउ सब्सटेंसेस कैन बी योर एलिमेंट्स दे कैन बी योर एलिमेंट दे कैन बी योर कंपाउंड ओके इट्स अ इट्स अ वेरी जनरलाइज्ड टर्म राइट एंड द सब्सटेंस कैन आल्सो बी योर मिक्सचर तो अगर आप एलिमेंट्स की बात करें तो पार्टिकल्स जो होंगे वो होंगे एटम्स so that basically, if you have one mole of an element, you'll be having 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 atoms. If you talk about one mole of a compound, then that means you have 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 molecules there. Or similarly, if a mixture elements ka hai, a mixture compound ka hai, or whatever, so you'll be having these many particles, whatever the mixture is comprised of so this is a particular figure which we comes in our mind whenever we talk about one mole now moles we normally uh, use for the calculations so there are certain facts which are related to moles and moles help us with the calculation part of chemistry ticket we use moles for calculating uh, the reactants or the product that helps in the chemistry calculation. Now, there's the, the, the facts which are there related to moles. So, there are certain, uh, we need to develop that understanding. Now, we say that one mole of a substance is equal to, it's a unit. So, just as it doesn't say, we see, we see that it's a mole hai, or mole just is in the We know that it has 6.023 into 10 raised to power 23 particles that I have explained you here. Now, the second fact, which is, that is that, which we are supposed to understand is that when when we talk about one mole of a substance it means it equals to its ar or mr the substance as i already told you that if i am talking about one mole of an element okay then one mole of an element will be equal to its ar in grams so if i am talking about for for example if i am talking about one mole of one mole of let's say sodium so that means one mole of a sodium will be equal to 23 grams of sodium. So if I weigh 23 grams of sodium, then I'll be calling it one mole. Similarly, if I talk about one mole of carbon, so that means I'm talking about 12 grams of carbon. If I take 12 grams of carbon, that will be equals to one mole. So this is about the element. Now, when we move on to the compound, so if we, have, we talk about one mole, of a compound, then the compound, one mole of a compound is actually equals to its MR, relative molecular mass in grams. So if I'm talking about one, if I'm talking about one mole of, I'm talking about one mole of, let's say uh, CH4, methane, then it will be equals to uh, 12 plus four, that's 16 grams. Or if I take 16 grams of methane, right? So that will be equals to one mole. Or if I take one mole of calcium carbonate, right, that will be equal to its MR. So calcium is 40 plus 12, right? It is 40 plus 12 plus 16 into 3. That is equals to 100 grams. So one mole of calcium carbonate will be equals to 100 grams. Or if I take 100 grams of calcium carbonate, that will be known as one mole. So this is the second fact, right? Now coming to the third fact, we need to understand the third fact also. The third fact is that one mole of 
any gas, right? Of any gas, it occupies, it occupies 24 dm cube of space at RTP. So with whichever gas you have, if you have, let's suppose, if you have, uh, we have one mole of ammonia. So one mole of ammonia will be occupying 24 dm cube of space at RTP. If I take two mole of ammonia, then the two mole, because one mole is occupying 24 cm cube. So two mole will be occupying two into 24. That makes 28. Uh, it'll be occupying 48 dm cube of space. If I take 0 0.5 moles of, let's say, oxygen, then it'll be because it is half of one mole. So that means it will be occupying 12 dm cube of space at RTP. If I have, let's say, 1.5 moles of carbon dioxide, so one mole occupies 24, half a mole occupies 12. So that makes 24 plus 12. That's going to be around 36 dm cube of space at RTP. So moles, this is a third fact. So the three facts we have known right now, and we will be doing calculation based on these. So the first fact is that one mole of a substance, if it is an element, then 6.023 10 to the power 23 atoms. If it is a compound, then these pick this, this, these will be the, uh, the molecules. The second fact is that when a substance, if you take one mole of a substance, specifically, we are talking about solids here. So, if we have one mole of a substance in the fall form of a solid, then that means we are taking its AR if we are taking an element and in grams or MR if you're taking one mole of a compound in grams, right? Then the third fact we have, uh, we have studied right now or we have known right now is that one mole of any gas, it occupies 24 dm cube at RTP, so one mole of any gas, it can be oxygen, it can be carbon dioxide, it can be chlorine, any gas. If you have one mole of a gas, irrespective of its MR, difference in the MR, but it will be occupying 24 dm cube only, okay? whether it's oxygen or carbon dioxide or chlorine. If you have a two mole of any gas, it can be ammonia, it can be oxygen, it can be carbon monoxide, whichever gas, two moles will be occupying 24 into two. Because one mole was occupying 24, so two moles will be occupying 2 into 24. That makes 48. And if you talk about 0 0.5 of any gas, then that is the half of 24 dm cube. That makes 12, and so on. Okay, now whatever we have learned right now about the moles, Let's apply it in the form of this equation. Now, this is an equation which is which is uh, given for the formation of ammonia gas. So we have nitrogen as a reactant, and we have hydrogen as another reactant. They both combine together to form ammonia. Now, whenever we have to do the moles calculation, it's mandatory. It's a must to have a balanced equation. Okay, we need to have a balanced equation. If you are not having the balanced equation, that means we our mole calculation will be erratic. And secondly, the another important factor is that your formulas, the chemical formula, the chemical equation, TK, they should be, that should be again correct, right? If you have a wrong formula, you'll be calculating the wrong MRs and because you will be having the wrong formula, so the equation cannot be balanced properly. So these are important things, the basic things we need to learn before we start with the moles calculation. So I have one, uh, one scenario here where the ammonia is being formed and all these components, whether they are reactants or the gases or uh, the product, they all in the gaseous form. Now, uh, uh, let's see K, uh, uh, if we need to find out that how many moles of each reactant are present, how many moles of each are present. These are basically my reactants. Uh, nitrogen and hydrogen, and this is basically product. So whatever the coefficient we have in the front of the reactant or the product, that is basically the moles. So when you talk about the moles, then we have one mole of nitrogen, which is reacting with three moles of hydrogen. Look at the coefficient, it's three. When nothing is there, that is understood, it's one. So one mole of nitrogen is reacting with three moles of hydrogen, and it is producing two moles of ammonia. So that is, this is the information we can, 
derive from a balanced equation theek hai ab how are you going to use this equa uh, this information further in calculation i am going to teach you so from an equation we can derive important facts related to the different reactants and product so we can derive the fact related to moles that's number 1 now similarly the number 2 you can derive the 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 masses of each reagent now how many moles do we have and previously we have studied that one mole when uh, we have studied that one mole of any substance one mole of any substance is equals to its ar or mr in grams theek hai was is equal to its ar or mr in grams let's uh, let's use this fact and move ahead okay now when you talk about this when we have to calculate the mass of each reagent now this is one mole so one mole of any substance of any substance is equals to is substance is equal to its ar or mr in grams now what we do we have here we have a molecule of an element so it will be having the mr so what is the uh, the ar for nitrogen ar for nitrogen is basically 14 so the mass over here will be how much 14 into 2 that means 28 grams now when you talk about the hydrogen the hydrogen ka jo hai ar jo hai wo that's 1 so 1 multiply by 2 it's 2 2 into 3 we have to multiply with the moles because one mole one mole is equals to ar in grams so three moles here will be ar multiply ar or mr multiply by 3 so we have three moles here so whatever the mr you have that you multiply by 3 to hydrogen ka mr kitna hua 2 because hydrogen ka jo relative atomic mass jo hai wo 1 hai to 1 into 2 makes it 2 and 2 multiply by 3 moles will be giving us 6 grams now when you talk about the ammonia and we have to find out the mass so ammonia ka mr jo hota hai nitrogen is 14 hydrogen is 1 so it's basically 14 plus 3 that's make 17 17 is the relative molecular mass but how many moles are there one mole is equals to its mr in grams but there are two moles so whatever the mr you have which is 17 you'll multiply that by 2 so there you have 34 grams so these this is an information we have derived from the balanced equation we were able to derive about the moles and we were able to derive about the masses of each reagent now similarly we can also derive the information related to the volume if we have gases how much volume because volume is again we say that one mole of any gas occupies that's the third fact occupies 24 dm cube at rtp right so basically if you have one mole then that is equals to 24 dm cube so whatever the moles we have that will keep on multiplying with 24 so how many moles of nit uh, nitrogen do we have we have one mole so automatically it will be occupying 24 dm cube dm cube is basically the unit for volume right and we should know that one dm cube is equals to your 1000 cm cube right now similarly we have to find out the volume for hydrogen as a gas so there are three moles so what we will have the one mole will be occupying 24 so 24 into 3 will be 72 dm cube similarly we have the third one we, we need to find out for ammonia as a gas how much volume it will be occupying so one mole occupied 24 so two moles will be occupying 24 into 2 that is basically 48 dm cube so any equation any equation you have whatever the equation you have that give us certain information and that information is related to the moles is related to the mass is related to the volume if the gases are there so this kind of information we can derive okay now let me uh, let me uh, move ahead ke agar equation hai to ye information or question ko hum kis tarah se comprehend karke we will arrive to the right answer okay okay whatever we have learned on in the uh, on the previous slide let's see how we can apply it 
हमने क्या किया था वट वी डेड वॉज वी वर ट्राइंग टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द इन्फॉर्मेशन फ्रॉम द इक्वेशन वी ट्राई टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द नंबर ऑफ मोज ऑफ ऑल द रिएजन सो नंबर ऑफ मोज इज बेसिकली द क्वेफिशन विच इज इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम वी वर ट्राइंग टू एक्सट्रैक्ट द मासज ऑफ द रिएजन सो वट एवर द नंबर ऑफ मोज यू हैव वी नो द फैक्ट दैट वन मोल ऑफ एनी सब्सेंस इक्वल्स टू एट ए आर और एम आर इफ द it's in the element form then it's ar in gram if it is the compound form then it's mr in gram that was the second fact then the third fact was that if there are gases then whatever the moles one mole of a gas it will be occupying 24 dm cube so i have a one mole of hyd nitrogen here so it will be occupying it will be occupying 24 i have a three moles of hydrogen so it's three times 24 that's 72 dm cube it will be occupying now here it is two moles of a gas ammonia so it's two times 24 that's 48 so this is the information related to moles related to mass related to volume i am able to extract from the given equation theek okay? hai now let's apply the same concept in the question form okay so i have certain some questions written down and i'll be uh, reading going through with you people and i'll be comprehending you right now the first question says that calculate the mass the for the moles the comprehension is very important what is given to you and what is being uh, what they are asking us to calculate to find out now they are asking us to calculate the mass of ammonia so what i'll do is i'll put i'll leave some space here and under ammonia i'll be writing down grams putting a question mark that i need to find out the mass of ammonia let me read further calculate the mass of ammonia formed if we make if we uh if we make 4.5 grams of hydrogen react with the nitrogen so what are they doing they are making 4.5 grams of hydrogen react with nitrogen so you need to find out the mass of ammonia and what is given in the question that they have given you 4.5 grams of hydrogen and whatever the amount of nitrogen that's not given in the question so definitely nitrogen is in excess so we are least bothered so we are going to ignore the nitrogen now on the basis of the fact what is given and what you we need to find out from this equation we will be finding out hum is equation se hydrogen ka mass nikalenge aur ammonia ka bhi mass nikalenge to basically ye mass mass relationship ka question hai to what will be ab ab yahan par hydrogen jaise maine aapko pichle slide pe dikhaya tha ki hum moles mass or volume extract kar sakte hain from the equation because the equation is a balanced equation to yahan par what we will be extracting the this particular step is coming after comprehension of the question so these facts we have written down after comprehending the question now above that we will be uh, on the basis of whatever the values that are given and what we need to find out the similar information the similar information will be in extracting from the equation so we i need to extract the mass of hydrogen from the equation so mass of hydrogen is what it's an mr in grams based on the moles so there are if it is one mole then it's equals to mr in gram but this is three moles so what i'll be doing is three multiply by the mr of hydrogen which is two so this is basically six grams right and similarly i need to find out the mass of ammonia also so what is it it will be two multiply by the mr of ammonia which is basically 17 so that is basically 34 grams so i know that i know that if i take six grams then i am able to produce 34 grams of ammonia now i'll be doing i'll make uh, establishing uh, establishing the relationship or ab mai jo hu wo ratio proportion se karungi ya unitary method se karungi so i can say that if 6 grams is producing 34 grams then 4.5 grams will be producing x theek hai so i can put it down equate this information as 34 divided by 6 multiplied by 4.5 so whatever the answer you will be getting that will be the mass of ammonia form okay so you computed yourself so that will be the answer right is that clear so if you give me a 2 minutes then i'll calculate and let you know what will be the answer answer will be 25.5 grams theek okay? hai on the basis of this uh, calculation 
I hope it's clear. Now let's move on to the second question. Let's comprehend the question. The equation is already given to you and the equation, what we have to, how to start it. We have to check whether my equation is balanced or not. If it is not balanced, then you cannot arrive to the right answer. So we have to check whether the equation is balanced or not. This equation is balanced so we can proceed with the comprehension part of the question. So let's see what we have to, uh, what is given to us. Okay. Calculate the mass of nitrogen so that under the nitrogen, Nitrogen, I'll write down, I'll put the question mark and I'll write down, I need to find out the mass of nitrogen. Needed to prepare 72 grams of ammonia. They're saying that if I need to prepare 72 grams of ammonia, then I need to find out how much mass of nitrogen I'm going to initiate the reaction with. Now, this is mass and this is again mass. So from the equation, from nitrogen ka bhi mass derive karungi from the equation. This is the question which I have comprehended. This is the question I have comprehended and I am trying to equate, I'm for formulating uh, my answer. Now, I have the question to comprehend the values here, what I need to find out. Now, the similar information I have to find out from the, I have to derive from the equation. So, this is mass. So I have to derive the mass of nitrogen. So nitrogen, I know it's one mole. So basically it's going to be how much? 14 into two, that makes 28. So I will be, it says that 28 grams, 28 grams I'm getting from uh, two moles of ammonia. So one mole of ammonia is 17. So two moles make it uh, 34 grams. So 34 grams I'm getting from 28. So 72 gram I'll be getting from X. So uh, on, on the basis of ratio proportion or unitary method, so it is going to be 28 divided by 34 multiplied by 72 computed and you will get the answer in grams. So this much, these many grams of nitrogen will be needed. I hope I'm clear. S so on computing, I get the answer 29.29 grams, okay, right? Now moving on to the next question. When we move on to the next question, hold on for a minute. Okay, here I have the next question written down. So let's comprehend. And we have, again, I have uh, given you the equation. The equation is balanced. I checked it, right? Now let's comprehend the question. It says that calculate the volume of ammonia. So what I'll do, I'll leave some space and volume ka jo unit hota hai, that's always dm cube, right? So I'll write down question. I need to find out the volume of ammonia. What is given to you? Calculate the volume of ammonia form when 140 grams of nitrogen is given to you. So it is 140 grams of nitrogen is given to you. So hydrogen need to be ignored because hydrogen ki koi information need to be. Up now, what we have to see, this is, I have comprehended the question. Now I need to derive the values from the equation, the relevant values from the equation. So this is mass. So what I'll be doing, I'll be extracting the mass of nitrogen from the equation, right? So because it's in gram, the mass is given to you. So the mass of nitrogen I'll be extracting. So how much is the mass? It's equals to one mole and it will be equals to its MR. So that means 28 grams, say. Now they're, they're asking you to find out the volume. The volume is actually related to uh, one mole occupies 24 dm cube. That's a fact. So these are two moles. So two moles means two into 24 makes it 48 dm cube. Now equate. So 28 grams is giving you the ammonia, which is occupying 48 dm cube. The 140 grams will give you how much ammonia, right? How much volume of the ammonia? So that is going to be, uh, that is going to be, this is what you'll be, how you'll be writing it down. 48 divided by 28 multiplied by 140. You compute it and you will get the answer in dm cube. That means the volume will be. So uh, when you compute it, you get the answer 240 dm cube. The unit for uh, the volume is dm cube, right? Coming to the fourth question. Now let's comprehend it. Now we know uh, the equation I've mentioned here is again balanced and uh, uh, let's comprehend the question. Calculate the volume of hydrogen. So under the hydrogen, I'll write down, I need to find out the volume that, that has to be in dm cube. Calculate the volume of hydrogen needed to produce 72 dm cube of ammonia. Now dm cube is given to you. That means they're again giving you the volume of ammonia. So 72 dm cube 
will be produced from how much of hydrogen. So similar information you have to extract from the equation. That means I need to find out the volume of hydrogen and I need to find out the volume of ammonia. So it's three moles of hydrogen. So that makes it 72 dm cube here. And we have two moles of ammonia that's making 48 dm cube. Now establish the relation. 48 dm cube is giving you 72 dm cube. So 72 dm cube will give you x. So is it's going to be basic, it's going to be 72 divided by 48 multiplied by 72, that many dm cube of uh that many dm cube of hydrogen is needed in order to produce 72 dm cube of ammonia. Let's so on computing, we are getting 108 dm cube of nitrogen needed in order to produce uh it moles of hydrogen needed in order to produce 72 dm cube of ammonia right Achha. now let's move on to the last question uh okay the last question is they are asking let's comprehend the equation is already given to us so i mean let's comprehend it says that calculate the moles of ammonia uh, we need to find out the moles of ammonia formed when 144 grams of nitrogen react with the hydrogen. So when 144 grams of nitrogen react with hydrogen, hydrogen equal information, let's ignore it. So this is the relationship, this is the relation we have to establish. So that means nitrogen, we need to find out the mass of nitrogen and we need to find out the moles of ammonia, right? whatever according to whatever is given in the question and demanded in the question so when you talk about the mass of nitrogen this is basically your one mole so one mole of nitrogen is equals to the mr of nitrogen right which is n2 so it is basically 14 into 2 that makes 28 grams and how many moles are there so the coefficient tells you about the moles so two moles so 28 grams is actually producing two moles so 144 grams will produce x moles so that's 2 divided by 28 multiplied by 144 let's compute and get the answer it's coming uh, on computing we are getting the answer that's 10.28 moles i hope till here it's clear